Good morning, YouTube. Dell here from Zephyr War Games, and today I have a brand new art type to bring you that will be premiering in Dimension Force, which is due to hit the TCG in around May time. And straight away, look at that artwork. That looks awesome. So, it's a brand new art type called Scare Claws. Um, I actually really really hope we keep this name from the OCG uh, it is incredibly interesting it does share a lot of um, factors in comparison to stuff like mech knights and crusaders which is really really cool so before we get started please make sure you smash that like button hit that notification bell and subscribe so you do not miss out on any more upcoming news drops content profiles you name it we will bring it so Let's start off with the one and only Link Monster for now, Scareclaw Trick Heart. It is generic, so it requires three effect monsters, and it must be Link summoned. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to defense, um, and this card is unaffected by activated effects from any defense position monster. Once per turn, if this card is in the extra monster zone, you can target one level three Scareclaw uh, monster in your graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Scareclaws and special summon that targeted monster. And if you do, you get to add a Scareclaw monster from your deck to your hand, which is actually really, really good because a lot of Scareclaw cards special summon themselves from the hand to adjacent columns, which is really cool. So not only is it a reviver, it's a searcher, and it's basically like a Baguska, which is really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, this is a great start for the art type already. Uh, let's kind of continue and see what else they have. So, they've got a Visas Staffrost. Uh, so, it is a Warrior Tuner level 6. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain attack equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack or defense, whichever is higher. If this card is in your hand, you can type one face-up monster you control with a different type and attribute, destroy it, and if you do, special summon this card. You can only use the effect once per turn. Now, this is actually important because I believe the rest of the um, the rest of the scare claws are actually different types and attributes. So you're in a good start with that already. So Scareclaw Reinhardt. This again, this looks badass. Like the armor is so cool. Um, so this one obviously is a warrior and a dark. You can special on this card from the hand to your main monster zone in the column of a Scareclaw monster you control or its adjacent columns, which is really, really important. So it means it can go um, below a link monster or if it's if there's a monster already on the field, it can go to the left or the right, which is really cool. You can only special summon it once per turn this way. If this card is normal or special, you get to add a scare claw spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And if there are three or more defense fishing monsters on the field, you can draw one card. So straight away, if you've used this to make your link monster and the link monster shifts three of your opponent's monsters to defense, you then special summon this, you get to get an additional draw, uh, and you get to kind of kind of move on from there. And the spells and traps are definitely worth it. So starting off with the first spell, which is a bit of a mouthful, but again, the artwork is amazing. Like you've got Reinhardt just sitting there watching this battle between the Scareclaws, which basically look like um, kind of like BAs in a sense, which is really cool. So it's Lithobia, the Wanton and the Willful World of Desire. So straight away, it is a field spell. When this card is activated, you get to add a Scareclaw monster or a Vissa Stuffrost from your deck to your hand. So it gives you the big guy or it gives you any of your little guys as well. Uh, monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack and defense for each defense position monster on the field. If there are three or more defense position monsters on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Only use this effect once per turn. Uh, you can only activate one of this card per turn as well. Carrying on with the scare claws, we've got scare claw crow. So this is a beast and an earth, so it is a different type and a different attribute. Uh, especially on this card from the hand to a main monster zone in a column or an adjacent column of a Scareclaw. Only special summon it once per turn this way, and your Scareclaw monsters in the extra monster zone gain 300 attack for each of your defense position monsters. Now, it should be attack and defense, in my opinion, and I'll explain that a little bit later on as we carry on through. We've then got Scareclaw Alternative. Again, the artwork's pretty cool. You can kind of see the lore already building in this, in the artwork, which I'm so happy with. Tribute free Scareclaw monsters that your opponent uh, can only special summon monsters in defense for the rest of this turn. So it means they can't summon link monsters, which is great. During your turn, you can banish this card from the graveyard, inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each defense decision monster on the field. Only use this effect once per turn. I mean, oh, there you go. 
I mean, it's kind of a big cost, in my opinion, because you have to tribute the free to then basically uh, siphon lock a certain deck, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not too sure how much play it will see, but it's still a very interesting card. And then we've got Scarecore Astra. Uh, you can only special on this card from the hand to the main monster zone or an adjacent column as a Scareclaw card. While you control a defense issue monster, Scareclaw monsters you control in the extra monster zone can attack a number of times each battle phase up to number of your defense position Scareclaw monsters with different names specifically. Scareclaw Nova. Uh, target one Scareclaw monster or one Vista Frost in your graveyard and special summon it in defense. If a Scareclaw link monster or monsters, ooh, ooh. Does that mean we're going to get another Link Monster? Please. Uh, you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can banish this card from the graveyard instead. Definitely has some Evil Eye vibes as well. I'm liking all of this. Scareclaw Sclash. I love this artwork already. Look at that. The Vista Frost versus um, the Scareclaw. That's actually so badass. Once per turn, you type one Scareclaw Monster or one Vista Frost you control. This turn, it can attack while in face up defense. If it does, apply whichever is higher between its attack and defense for damage calculation. When your opponent activates a card or effect while you control a Scareclaw monster in the extra monster zone, you can send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard to negate that effect. That's kind of cool. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much play this one gets. And then the last card we've got is Scareclaw Veronia. Uh, you can special summon this card from the hand, again to the same column or an adjacent column as a Scareclaw. And then if your Scareclaw monster in the extra monster zone attacks a defense issue monster and flip piercing battle damage to your opponent. So, I mean, the effects of the little ones aren't great, but the fact that they can just spawn themselves for free is absolutely amazing because, um, and the fact that the Link monster is generic, all you really need to do is get a Scareclaw to the graveyard, spawn it out, and you're pretty much good to go, which is kind of cool. Uh, they are a very defensive heavy, apart from the Visa Frost and the Link monster their defense stats are obviously a lot better uh, especially for the little guys as well so you've got 17 of 13 and a 2k it's weird that the stuff gives attack um but it'll be interesting to see so massive shout out to Alan Mack who creates the english proxy translations for these if you want them uh let me know i'll put a document together if the video gets at least 50 likes i'll put the document together for you guys and um you can download these proxies they are already sized for you that's what makes Alan Mack so good is he already sizes them for you um meaning that they can just be printed or put onto a word document and then printed out ready to rock and roll uh, and go from there Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, let me know if there's any other type of content you would like us to see. Uh, and then we can kind of go from there as well. As absolutely always, guys, have a very good day. Stay safe. And of course, happy dueling. Yeah.